Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at EstampAbove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Sunday night free stamping class. So I have some really cool cards to share with you tonight. I've got um, a fun layout. It's a basic layout that you can use with a number of different stamp sets or designer series paper. And then I've also got a fun fold. Um, yes, a fun fold. Oh my gosh. I just made it this afternoon. You wouldn't think I'd have to look twice, would you? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Terry. Hi, Kathy. Welcome, Sierra, Tundra. So glad to see you guys popping in. How was your week, everybody? I hope you had a good week. It seems like forever since I was on here, I guess because there's been so much that I've done over the last week. You know, um, I went to Door County with my mom and her friend, and it was a lot of fun. We had a really good time. The company was good. Um, no drama, no crazy, crazy. I always hate that. Um, <clears throat> so that's a successful trip to me. We were there. We went out Tuesday. We were there Wednesday and came home Thursday. So that was um, fun. I do have to say I wouldn't recommend going to Door County before Memorial Day weekend. Uh, there really wasn't much to do. There was a lot of stuff that was closed. The food was fabulous. And I'm sure it's a lot more fun when there's some festivals or something going on. But there really wasn't much to do there. So take note of that. Um, it was neat. One of the things I noticed about Door County, and you guys, for you guys that don't know, Door County is the Upper Peninsula in Wisconsin. And it's a big tourist place, and it's beautiful. But one of the things that I really noticed is there's no chains in Door County. There's no Applebee's, there's no McDonald's, there's no Culver's. They don't have any chain restaurants or chain stores. It's all specialized little boutiques and art galleries, lots and lots of art galleries. So that was cool. All right, I am going to show you guys, well, hang on, let's, oh, I know, I was going to tell you, I cleaned my office today. When I get ready to turn my camera around, I will show you guys the stamp and storage that I put together. I've got all my ink pads um, in their little slots and my re-inkers. I see that there's a couple tipped over up here. Um, I also have my... Stamp and blend storage that used to sit behind me here on my desk right in front of me, and I think I really like it there. So I took time to do that today as well as clean this pit because it was so, so horrible you couldn't hardly walk in here. And you know, it only takes me about 20 minutes to destroy it again. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I got my office cleaned. We had a card buffet yesterday. That was super fun. If you're local to the Fox Valley area, um, I would encourage you to check out my events calendar. It's on my blog, www.estampabove.com. There's a little tab that says events. You can go right on there and see when my next events are coming up. I, I don't remember what the date is for the, I think it's June 8th is our next card buffet, if that's a Saturday. Don't forget, also for you guys that are local, June 1st is my used stamp sale. So if you would like to um, sell any of your merchandise, gently use merchandise for stamping or scrapbooking, um, let me know. There's a whole list of details that I like to share with people. Yeah, Sarah is packing retired sets for my sale. Yay! So my sale is June 1st. It starts at 9 a.m. and goes till 3 p.m. There are no early sales. Don't even stop by and ask me because I will not do it. I don't think that's fair to the people that have to wait until the sale starts. So I've always been pretty strict about that. Um, I have some wonderful people that help me with the sale. Sarah's on here and she's one of them. Um, also my good friend Denise and Cheryl and Kathy and who else? I think Wendy Sue maybe asked or Patty Skiba asked if they could help. And yeah, we'll take all the help we can get. Cleanup is where we really need the help, packing everything back up. So after, you know, around 3 o'clock on Saturday, we need some extra hands to be doing that. Hi, Barb Newsbomb. It's good to see you on here. Suzette, Susan. Okay, um... What else did I do this week? I had my husband get my bike out. He got my bike out and put air in the tires and I went for a long bike ride. We had um, 
the day that I got back from Door County, so it was Thursday, was it? No, Monday, no, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, it was really nice out, so I went for a bike ride. Now it's cold again. It's cold and rainy and crummy, and we had a thunderstorm this morning. And it's not getting better. It's going to stay cold and rainy and crummy for the next several days. And before I get too far, I want to let you know that I will not be live next weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm taking the weekend off. Steve and I are maybe going on a little road trip someplace. Not quite sure. But I'll make sure I tell you all about it when we get back or watch Facebook. I'll share pictures on whatever we decide to do. Um, so somebody just said, how is the weight loss going? I'm excited to tell you 30 pounds I am down 30 pounds now and that was like a big number that I kept wanting to hit and that's even with going to Door County three days this week and eating restaurant food so um, I am down 30 pounds with not a stitch of um, exercise I have done no exercise whatsoever so this program really works of course most programs will work if you stick to them right that's the really hard part but I am bound and determined that I am going to be feeling better about myself. And um, it's just really important to me. Uh, it's enough. I said enough is enough. So I'm so excited because I do. I feel like a million bucks. And I, I want to lose 10 to 15 more pounds. Um, we'll see how far that goes. I don't want to get too skinny because, you know, that's not really attractive either. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. Hi, Peggy. Welcome, Carol. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for your for your encouragement. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, you guys, when I'm reporting to you every week, you kind of hold me accountable. And it's in the back of my mind that I really want to give you some good news. I want to give you good news. I know you'll celebrate with me. I want to celebrate. So um, you guys have really helped me out with this whole thing. I think it's fantastic that... Um, you're so encouraging. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Um, what else? Oh, I got a new ring in Door County. Well, actually, I didn't get it in Door County. I really didn't find anything in Door County that I liked. But we got off on the wrong exit in Green Bay. And I actually bought this at a secondhand store. And isn't it pretty? I just really like it. So that was my one treasure from my trip was getting off at the wrong exit stopping at a um, secondhand store and buying this ring. So yay, hi Bev, hi Amy, thank you guys so much. Um, what else? Oh, I have a new host code, so when I flip my phone around, I'll show you that new, well, I can show you right now. Um, new host code, just so you know, I'm gonna be changing it on my um, website, my blog here, when I get ready to post what we're making tonight. And I think I will do all the photography and get the post up so it goes live at 6.30 in the morning for the projects that we're making tonight. Um, I have another blog hop that starts with the um, color, no, what are they called? Creative inking blog hop. Oh my Lord, <laughs> that was so hard. Did you see the wheels turning? Creative inking blog hop at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. And then, of course, I will have my Wednesday, um, wait, what, tip video. And hopefully, I'll have time to get something done for Friday. Uh, so I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Um, Steve and I are thinking about leaving on our little road trip on Wednesday. So I've only got a couple days, and I've got Stamp Club tomorrow night and Tuesday night. So I need to get my butt in gear, right? Nose to the grindstone. I love my job. <laughs> okay. Um... Let me show you the beautiful cards that I got in the mail this week. Oh, thank you guys so much about the weight loss and the ring. And and you guys are always so sweet. Yeah, Denise, it was a really neat secondhand shop. They had a pair of Note, N-A-O-T shoes. I don't know if you're familiar with that brand, but we actually saw it at a boutique in Door County. And they had this pair of Note shoes there that were regularly $169, and at the resale shop, they were selling them for $119. What a deal. <laughs> Not for this girl. <laughs> I know they must be very high-end. I don't know if they're Italian shoes or what they are, but they were cute, but nah, it's not happening for me. Okay, this card came to me from Connie Billerman, and isn't that just beautiful? 
This actually uses, I had that paper out earlier today, the um, laser paper that's in the annual catalog right now, not the new catalog, but the old the catalog that's going to retire on June 3rd. Isn't that pretty? So we have these note cards in there, and then this die laser die cut strip that's here is in there. Isn't that pretty? And then this is, I think this greeting is from All That You Do. Yeah, it is. And um, Connie was thanking me for my generosity. And um, I don't remember what I sent her, but you are very welcome, Connie. Thank you for this beautiful card. I love it. And then we had Deborah Culbertson. Deborah is from Minnesota. You guys are going to die when you see this one. She did one of my sidestep cards. Look at this. <gasps> That's using the Desert Flower Cactus Stamp Set. This is retiring, you guys. So if you haven't had a chance to order this yet, I highly recommend it. Look at how cute those cactuses are. Here's the card. And Deborah said, thank you so much for the flowering. Oh, she won the stamp set and made me this card. I love that. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much for the stamp set. As you can see, I put it to good use. And she certainly did. This is just beautiful. I love it. Then I have a card here from D Blythe. Dee has actually been following me for a while, and Dee's had a lot of questions. She would like to join my team, but I believe she is on somebody else's team, so we're kind of looking into that, and um, look at this. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, love this card, Dee. Thank you so much, and it was a thank you card for me answering all her questions and taking time out of my day to make sure that she has answers. So that's cool. Um, this comes from, let's see, where's my note? This is from Diana Mayer. And she said it was inspired by my video. Look at how cool. Remember, this was the layout challenge that I had last week. Use up those scraps. Yay! Thank you so much, Diana. I love these cards. Now, let's see here. Oh, and I got a present in the mail. So Linda, I'm pretty sure Linda is on here watching tonight. Linda is one of my team members, and she sends me some really cool stuff once in a while. And can I just tell you, I really appreciate it. It's so fun, right? She shares really neat stuff with me. And here's a sneak peek at new designer paper. This is the Good Morning Magnolia, part of that bundle that's coming out in the new catalog. And um, look, oh. And she cut out the flower. This this greeting is not from that set, but this flower is. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. And she also saw my ratty um, adhesive eraser that looks just disgusting. She's so sweet. She sent me this one. It's a brand new one. So <laughs> thank you, Linda. You're so sweet. I was um, super excited to get this in the mail. So thank you. I'm going to set these back here. If you guys didn't notice, I tend to display, well, I try to display the cards. Sometimes, sometimes if I have a problem of getting too many, um, I, I can't because it gets too full. But I always like to set the cards back here and enjoy them. So thank you so much. All right. I think, oh, I have to get myself up on the screen here. So just hang tight. So when I flip my phone around, I can see your comments. Hi, Diane. Hi, Beth. Pam, welcome. Yeah, don't forget to S-H-A-R-E. I think when I get back, um, I'll be back on June 2nd for a Facebook Live. I think when I get back, we're going to go back to using the actual word instead of spelling it. And we'll see how it goes. I haven't heard of anybody else getting their videos deleted. If anybody's wondering why I am um, not saying this right here it's because for some reason facebook got their undies in a bundle and decided that they didn't like us saying this so much so they started deleting demonstrators videos even though it pops up on your screen they want you to s-h-a-r-e it makes no sense at all it's the silliest so i made this sign because i am quite uh crafty at things like this and there's a way to get around just about everything isn't there <laughs> So make sure you do these things and you will be, this will happen. 
when you do these things, and I really appreciate it. And when you're S-H-A-R-I-N-G, make sure you do that to your own profile page, not to any of my pages. I have a definite schedule on my VIP page, on this page that you're on right now. Um, I don't want you to share this. Whoops, I said it <laughs> only once. I don't want you to put it on my profile page. No, it needs to go to yours. That's how you get entered in the drawings. So, all right, I think we're ready to turn the camera around. Um, let me get this unpacked first so you're not just bored looking at a bunch of stuff coming out of a basket because that's kind of boring. Oh, and then when I turn my camera around, I will show you my new storage. Yes. Hi, Mary Lynn. Yay. Um, what are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. It's a calorie, calorie burner drink because it has caffeine in it. And by no Bev's on here. Bev is my coach. And I drank water today. So I just want to let you know that. I am also accountable to Bev to stay on the weight loss road, right? Okay. Let's see here. Oh, there's the beautiful card. I've got actually um, two cards to show you. I'm going to do a layout different. And then I have a card that I cased. And that means that I copied it from somebody um, online. And, ooh, I don't remember who. But um, it's her card, not mine. I didn't design it. But this card I am I did design. So I'll show both of them to you. I am going to be using the Everything is Rosy. You guys have seen me use this quite a bit. This is our May promotion. It is still available. You get a whole bunch of product. It's $80. And it's worth over $120. So it's a really good deal. Ooh, diet raspberry tea. That sounds delicious. Peach tea, yum. I like that too. That's what I um, have when I go to restaurants. They'll ask me what I want to drink, and I will ask for a glass of iced tea, unsweetened, and then I put I have little packets of stevia in my purse. Somebody else asked me, so, you know, you're, I was just in Door County for three days. I was eating in restaurants. What are you eating that you're continuing to lose weight? Well, I had... Um, shrimp fajitas when we went to the Mexican restaurant and I did have one tortilla but then I just ate the rest of it without the carbs of the tortilla you know the soft wrap thingy bobber and what else did I eat I tried to stay away from the carbs and um oh I had a uh chicken fajita salad that was delicious um and for the most part, I think there was only maybe one day where I ate twice in one day. Otherwise, I stuck to my one meal and then all my um, my program that I'm on, all these uh, protein-packed things that I eat. Yeah, so there you go. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera around now. We are ready to do something here with some cards. <laughs> Okay, if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'm going to show you the storage system um, so you can see how gorgeous it is. Now, we're out of some of the elements in the storage system. I think we're out of the, um, I forgot to check on it, but I think we're out of the stamp and blend storage. I'm not sure if we're out of the ink pad storage yet or not, but it will be back in, I think, July 1st. So, all right, close your eyes if you get motion sickness, and I will tell you when to open them and here is oops I gotta unplug for a second there is my storage whoops my storage system gosh it's hard when I'm mirrored I'm gonna have to unmirror here so just hang on there we go okay there's my storage system and as you can see it sits right in front of my desk and I love it there I'm like so excited about this all right we are going to Get our camera in place here so I am ready to start stamping and let me make sure I just like to make sure that I'm straight here okay that looks pretty good all right you guys can open your eyes if you had to close them I'm gonna plug myself back in so a little bit more jiggly jiggly there we go uh, let's get some lights in here on the subject okay I think we're good all right so let me dump off all this stuff. I am going to start with this first card. This is an easy layout. Um, it's really a nice layout too. 
So I have a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock, and this is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it in the middle at five and a half, okay? And I burnished that edge with my bone folder, and I'll just do it again because I like it when it stays closed. Then I have a piece, I have, let's see, oops. I have two pieces of Whisper White. These are both four by five and a quarter. I've also got a scrap of Whisper White, a scrap of Night of Navy, and a layer of Melon Mambo that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and then the gorgeous Designer Series paper from the Everything is Rosy paper pack. This is Specialty Designer Series paper. Just in case there's anybody new watching tonight, I will show you this paper. It's one side of it has a foil, embossed foil, and the other side is just patterned. Isn't this just gorgeous? You get, I think, eight sheets of each one here. So there's a lot of paper in it. And then you get all these die cuts. We've got labels and um, flowers. You get two sheets of each of these. They're beautiful. You get eight sheets of rose gold foil paper. It, and this is all six by six. You also get these mirrored embellishments that are really fun. You get two rolls of 10 yards each of ribbon. That is beautiful. A stamp set, a die set, Holy cow, like there's so much in this bundle. That's why if you were to buy individual items, this all comes together and all goes together for $80. The value of it is over $120, so it's a really good deal. Okay, we're gonna come back in here. Oh, and I have this piece. This is, um, I think about an inch by, I don't know, we'll see. An inch by five and a quarter, that's what it is. So that's for the inside of our card. All right, we are going to, we're going to take our scrap of Whisper White and get some stamping done here. Now, I don't wanna to forget to do this little technique because it's pretty cool. You guys are gonna like this. You may have seen it already, but you may not have. So I'm gonna take my um, Melon Mambo ink and I'm gonna take the greeting that says, time to celebrate all the lovely things in life starting with you. Okay. Oh, Mary's drinking a whiskey sour. It was her mother's favorite. Good for you. You're at home relaxing. You should have yourself a whiskey sour. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab this cute little thing. I love this little deal. And I'm just gonna stamp that kind of right under it. And don't you love that font? Like I am in love with the font on these words. I just really think they're beautiful. And then we're gonna come in here with the flower and we're gonna stamp that over here. Oh, I hope I'm not getting out of my, oh, I am, sorry you guys. Let me pull it in. I need to be in the screen so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm grabbing Knight of Navy here and I'm gonna put that right in the middle of the flower. Okay. Um, we are going to do some die cutting. So remember this Knight of Navy scrap. Does that mean I can't? Are you talking to me, Linda Bunce, that I can't eat chocolate chip cookies? I cannot eat chocolate chip cookies. Not while I'm trying to lose weight. Not that I wouldn't <laughs> be tempted by them. Okay, so I'm using the Stitch Shapes rectangle here. I am going to die cut that. Who know, Who sees where are the rest of my dies? I thought I had them all here. And now I, oh, here's the other one. I'm going to throw this around for a little while. Oh, hang on. Having a hot flash. Got to take the jacket off. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Then I'm going to take this flower and I am going to die cut it. There we go, perfect lineup, kind of, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna run these through the Big Shot. I'm gonna run this through the Big Shot. And I've already got this done. Yay! Here comes my flower, yay! And I've got a scrap here. Where is my die for that? Oh, you guys, uh-oh. Do you guys see that little 
springy guy here any clues? Uh oh. Hang on just a minute. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, well, thank goodness we can continue on with our project. So I did, I have a little scrap of Melon Mambo here and the scrap of the rose gold. So I cut out this die and this die, and now I can't find the die. But don't worry, it's here someplace, and I will find it. I'm glad I did this ahead of time, right? Okay, so we've got those. And then in this piece, we are going to take this climbing vine embossing folder. This is retiring, and we're going to run this through our big shot and of course I've got one done already the only thing we have left to do well we have a couple things left we are going to stamp a greeting on this layer and the oh look it there it is you guys are probably yelling at me it's under your stamp it's under your stamp so I die cut that and now I'm going to use let's see do I want to use melon mambo I think I do. This is going to be the inside greeting for our cute little card. May your birthday be filled with pretty things. And who doesn't need a birthday filled, filled with pretty things? I'm going to take this layer and add it to the bottom of my inside layer. And this was just left over. It was just laying on my table after I cut the paper and I thought, ooh, Layer for the inside, isn't that pretty? It's always pretty when you do that. All right, we're ready to put our card together. Like I said, this is just an easy layout and you can do this with like almost any designer series paper and some flowers. So I love it when I find that classic layout that I can just make a whole bunch of cards. Use up that designer series paper, right? All right, this piece is just going on the front, and oftentimes I don't think about using white as a layer under my front layer, but it really does make your card pop, especially if you've got a darker layer that's going on the front. This one is two, oops, let, hang on, yep, two by three and seven eighths. And I'm going to attach this to our Melon Mambo layer here. I want my leafy things to go up, so I'm kind of weird. Oh, don't do this yet. I almost forgot. Hang on. This is my scrap. This is just a crummy little scrap. And it's like, what are you going to do with that? Well, I'm going to bring in my decorative ribbon border punch. And I'm going to slide that. Let's see if it's going to work right here. Yep, it is. I'm gonna slide that right here and you're like, but Kelly, there isn't room to do that. Yeah, there is, watch. Watch what I do. We're gonna punch that. You start it right at the line that's right there and then you're gonna slide it down here and I'm gonna keep lining it up just like that. And one more time here. And you're like, that looks so ratty and ridiculous. Look at it. doesn't matter. We're only going to use this edge. So I can totally take it off of this scrap. Now that's called maximizing your cardstock, right? <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. My um, comments over here are not scrolling. Oh, I see. It was Amy that said she can't eat chocolate at all. I'm sorry, Amy. That's not fun at all. I I feel bad for you because chocolate is one of the things in life that I really enjoy. Oh, and by the way, Mary Olson, if you're watching, I did. I do, I do give myself a little treat once in a while. Hang on. I'll grab it so you can see it. Got it hiding behind my storage. So I actually had to go buy some more sea salt soiree Ghirardelli's. This is intense dark, and I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is, I don't know, supposed to be better for you or whatever. But anyways, I did have to go buy another bag. So you are an enabler, and I'll let you and Bev talk about your punishment for getting me started. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just put a little bit of glue on the back of this layer. I'm trying to get it to pick up here. Ah. There we go. I put glue all over this, which I shouldn't have done a little earlier. Now it doesn't want to stick for some reason. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
We're gonna fix this. Oh, get that off. I've got glue everywhere. Hang on. That's why I always have a backup here. Let's try this again. We're gonna use our tape runner instead. And I should remember that sometimes the foil paper and the glue isn't the best option. So now I'm gonna set this down. Oops. Gosh, I'm gonna set it down on this crummy one that has glue on it already. Because I don't want to get glue all over everything else. Here we go. I just want a little bit of that scalloped edge to hang out there. That's what I want, just like that, okay? I'm gonna have to get a baby wipe out because I'm full of glue now. I'm gonna trim this off. And, oh, I forgot to tell you guys this too. Um, Steve got my pool running the other day. He had something inside the filter that broke that he had to fix, um, get parts for. The parts came in. Look at how pretty that is, right? So um, he got my pool running the other day, and it was really gross. The water was disgusting, but now it's already starting to look better. <gasps> I'm so excited. So for those of you that may not be familiar, I live in this really old house. And it's not like, oh, you live in a really old house with a lot of charm. No, I just live in an old house. The best part about our house is the swimming pool that it came with. <laughs> the swimming pool came with the house. So while it sounds like, oh, she has a swimming pool in her backyard, she must, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's not the case. The pool came with the house. We love it. It's the only reason we bought it and the fact that it had five bedrooms because, ouch, um, we had four kids at the time we bought this house. So old, old farmhouse in the city with a great big in-ground swimming pool in the backyard. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty weird. Like, nobody else in the whole neighborhood probably even has a yard big enough for a swimming pool. Well, some people do, but you know what I'm saying. But anyways, that's my fun in the summer. I love my swimming pool. Okay, now, we've got this layer. I'm going to take this flower that we die cut, and I'm going to put a dimensional right on this layer. And we're going to attach that to our... Now you want to make sure you don't cover up your words here. And then I'm going to come in with just a tiny bit of glue on these little sprigs. So I'm just putting a dot in there and I know that that's going to squish out because it's kind of a big dot, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to put it underneath whoops, that flower. So it doesn't matter. You can't see the squished out glue, right? I'm going to do the same thing here. Just a little dab of glue. A little dab will do ya like that and then I gotta get my hands wiped off because I'm kind of made a mess of myself here and again just push that oh that one stuck good that one stuck good and we're gonna do dimensionals on the back of this layer this is such a pretty card now like I said from the um, get-go here that I, I have another card that's almost exactly the same that I'll share with you and it just uses different colors and a little different layout. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? What do you think? Absolutely beautiful. This is gonna be a fun birthday card to give away for sure. All right, where'd that other card go? Right here. Here's the other card. This one, I cased this other card and you can see that the layout is similar. I just switched it from this to this. I changed this from Night of Navy to this. I gave it a wide. I put the um, decorative border on the side, which I thought was a nice little touch. Oh, this uses one of the, the mirrored embellishments too. Now, here is that shimmer paint. I'm so glad I didn't, for, I almost forgot to do this. I am going to take this rose gold shimmer paint, one end of the Take Your Pick tool. You guys remember that these move back and forth? Okay, we've got several different things. This is our picker-upper, this is a stylus. I'm just gonna take my stylus and get a little bit of this shimmer paint on it. And I'm going to add some little dots. And these are just gonna be interesting. They match the um, Blushing Bride, the rose gold foil that's on here and on the edge over here. 
and you can just add these as little little dots with your take your pick tool. What do you think? I think we need one more. I don't like that there's just... How about that? Yeah, cool, right? I think that's cool. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off. Now, there's a ton of different things you can do with shimmer paint. You can sponge it on your cards. You can put it in one of our um, misters with rubbing alcohol and spray it and give your whole card a shimmer. But this rose gold is only available in the Everything is Rosy bundle. All right. Oops, hang on. Something just, oh, that was my other little thing. Okay, there we go. So, two beautiful cards. I case this one, not my idea. This one, I just kind of moved things around. And um, it's kind of a good tip on where do you start? Like, I have a lot of people who may be beginner stampers that are asking me, how do you, how do you decide what to make? You know, how do you come up with these layouts? Like, where does all that come from? And what I like to tell them is, you go, um, like you can go to my blog and you can look for other cards and say, ooh, I like that layout. I'm gonna take it from a lands or a portrait and make it landscape and switch around a couple little things or add a couple things and bam, you've got your own card. That's where I get my ideas from. So, yeah. Okay, let me put this away and we will get the next one out. This next one is a fun fold. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it because it's super duper cute. Okay. Oh, we're gonna need Melon Mambo again. This is the Everything is Rosy bundle. You also get a free card kit from me. Three cards in the kit. When you order this bundle from me, I will send you a free card kit in the mail too. So all you have to do is go to my online store. You'll find that at www.estampabove.com. Use this host code if your order is under $150. And um, when you order this, I'll send you a free card kit. It's a pretty good deal, right? Okay. Let me get out my next one. Oh, you know, I should have. In case I have anybody new here tonight. I also have this card that I made with the Everything is Rosy bundle. Isn't that pretty? And this card. And also this one. Aren't those mirrored embellishments pretty? And this is the edgelet that comes in the set. Yeah. Okay. Now let me put those away. Okay. Next... And again, I'm not scrolling, so hang on. If anybody asked a question, could you ask it again? Because um, my screen wasn't scrolling. I see Marilyn says, my hardest decision is colors. I've determined that the best solution is to make card fronts in various color combinations and apply it to a Whisper White or very vanilla card base when it's time to mail. Well, that's a good idea. And Marilyn, um, I have a link to this color coach on my blog right here and you can print this out and let's say you want to start with Blackberry Bliss this gives some color combinations to use with Blackberry Bliss this is laminated and then each color that goes with it has a punch behind it with the actual color of the cardstock this is something that I refer to frequently when I'm also doing color combinations or trying to figure out um, colors whoops how did I do that Oh, that was the back. <laughs> is this color coach? It's available for printing on my um, on my blog. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, let me set that aside. We are going to be using the Life is Grand. Got my scan set out here, and here comes my cardstock layers. Got some embossing folders. And sweetest thing with the jar of sweets framelits, polka dot tool ribbon, some stampin' blends, holy cow, right? And some more ink pads here. Now, I checked before I went live, well, I checked a little bit earlier today, but um, this is that adorable, this is called How Sweet It Is. Yep, I want to make sure I'm right. 
how sweet it is designer series paper and this goes with the whole suite of products it's just so fun and colorful and pretty and gosh there's so many things you can do with this so that's the paper that we're going to be using hang on let me scroll up again i don't know why sometimes kelly had a video earlier this week to show how she made the card. Oh, yeah, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, Donna. Oh, who just said that? Now it seems to be scrolling when I don't want to. Cindy said that. Yeah, for any of those cards I just showed you, there are videos on my blog you can find for all of them. And a one-sheet wonder that was really fun. Okay, both of these stamp sets and these framelits and the designer series paper and... Both of these um, embossing folders are retiring, and this this is the polka dot basics, and then this one is the quilt top. So all of these are retiring. I want to, you know, I like to show you guys stuff before it's not available anymore, so you can make some informed decisions about whether you need to add it to your library or not. Oh, and Jamie says she loves how I use so many products and they are not from all the same suite yeah right because we mix and match I'm pretty sure most people do that <laughs> okay here we go I am using Highland Heather for my card base I've got a scrap of Whisper White a piece of the how sweet it is designer series paper this is the coastal cabana side it's the other side of this fun paper a piece of Whisper White. Um, this Coastal Cabana piece is three and three quarters by five and three eighths. This is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then I took some strips. This is the Gummy Bear strip with Gorgeous Scrape underneath. So the Gorgeous Scrape is one and three sixteenths by three and three quarters. The gummy is one by three and three quarters, and all these dimensionals will be shown above this video once it's done. Um, and once I'm done being live tonight, I go back in and put all these dimensions in. So if you want to be in your stamp room tonight and you want to make some of these, you will have the dimensions to make it easier for you. And then I've got another piece that is the same size. The designer series paper is one by three and three quarters. The gorgeous grape is one and three sixteenths by three and three quarters. Okay, enough about that. And then I'll show you where I got the idea for this card because this is from, it was actually a swap card that I got when I was in Minneapolis in April with the Stampin' Up! event. And I absolutely fell in love with this card. And I'm like, oh my Lord, I need to make that. So I could have copied it completely, but one of the, um, the framelits aren't available anymore the way the card was made. So I decided to come up with something that was available because nobody wants me to show them how to make stuff with stuff you can't buy, right? I mean, that's not cool. It makes people mad. <laughs> okay, gorgeous scrape. Or I'm sorry, Highland Heather, not Gorgeous Grape. Highland Heather. This is 11 by 5 and a half, and we're going to score it at 3 and 7 eighths and 7 and 7 eighths. And of course, the 7 eighths is just the eighth before the next inch. Then, I'm going to set this aside for a moment. We're going to need it again, though. We are going to take the quilt top embossing folder. And I, let me, um, I gotta burnish these folds first, so let me do that. Um, somebody's asking, did you search a stamp above? You can go to www.astampabove.com and you'll get to my blog. Or you can actually just search for my name, Kelly Atchison. You'll also find me, I'm all over the internet. <laughs> okay card goes like this and like this. So this piece is a little bit smaller. I'm going to take this and put it into this embossing folder. And I'm going to make sure that the pattern starts. Do you see that? There's, there's a place on the edge here where there's no pattern. So I kind of push it all the way up to that fold line. Run this through the big shot, okay? And when you get done with that, you're going to have this. Here is 
our piece that is embossed. All right, now, next, I have to think about this a little bit. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to take this paper and we're going to add the striped paper to it. This is the uh, three and three quarters by five and three eighths. So I've already glued that little strip on there. I didn't think you guys would mind. It's just something that can help save a little time. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to take up your entire evening tonight. And although I know some of you wouldn't mind, right? <laughs> I could stamp with you all night. Let me tell you. All right, here we go. Hi, Sharon Kersey, the new girl. I'm so glad you found me. You're going to love this. If you're a stamper, I aim to please. <laughs> now I'm going to put this on this little panel. Ooh, and it looks like it's a little bit too long. How did I do that? Um, hang on just a second. This is going to make a mess out of my paper cutter. Let me see. You know what? I don't think this is the right size. Hang on. It's not. Oh, I cut it wrong. Okay, hang on. Never fear. So I had that embossed ahead of time. I'm going to have to do that for the camera. I cut that piece wrong and it just won't work. It'll give me trouble all the way through the card. So we're going to do a little embossing. I usually have this done ahead of time. And again, we're going to stick this in here. I know you guys are always so nice and forgiving. It's like, eh, not a big deal, right? Here we go. Make sure that your embossing pat or your embossing folder is not sticking out. You don't want the big shot to mangle it because it will. Hang on, I gotta reset this now. This is why I do this ahead of time so you don't have to sit and watch me futz with things like this because I know your time is valuable. And I just wanted you to know that I do take that into consideration when I'm doing some of this stuff. Some of it doesn't need to be shown on camera and that way I can do it a little bit ahead of time. So you're not twiddling your thumbs. Ah, there. Okay. Get this out of the way. And we'll get this out of the way. And now we'll bring this in and see if we did it right. Yeah, this piece is a little short now because I cut it, thinking that this was the problem, not that. But that's okay, it's still gonna look decent. Hang on, you guys. Did you see me ugh, flick the glue right there? And I said I was gonna wipe my fingers off too. Okay. Um, here we go. We're gonna put this on this inside panel. So this is like a trifold card. There we go. And then we've got this panel. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping here. I am using the, again, um, Life is Grand. This is retiring. I'm sad to say I love the fonts in these greetings. They're so pretty. We've got Make a Wish and Enjoy Your Day. This little piece with the gummy bears on it is for the inside of our card. And I'm just going to put this right down at the bottom. And I'm going to try to get it straight. How about that, Kelly? Get it straight. Okay. Then we're going to do, hmm, let's see. I think I'm going to go with the dark purple. The gorgeous grape is what I'm using here. This is the Make-A-Wish. Oh, isn't that so pretty, you guys? Love it. And then this says, and enjoy your day. Happy birthday. And again, I love that font, right? So, so pretty. Okay, this goes on the inside of our card. Let me get this out of here so I don't wreck my card. This goes right in this middle panel here. I don't care who you give this card to, but it's going to be a special little person, right? Okay, so we've got this and this. Now what? 
Okay, this is the cool part. The cool, the cool part is that these framelits that are in here, we've got this big jar, we've got this tall jar, um, apothecary jar, that's what they're called. We've got another jar in here. We've got all these little pieces of candy in here that are actually, they emboss and cut at the same time. You get duplicates so you don't have to like run one through and then run it through again and then again, you know, to make multiples. You can do two at a time, so that's cool. I am going to cut one of these large jars out. You can also take this and cut this jar out. And there's a framelit that cuts this jar out right out of the designer series paper. So if you're planning on ordering this designer series paper, order a couple packs so you will have tons of these little images. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can certainly stamp all three of these jars and die cut them too, but I think it's fun to cut them out of the designer series paper. So I've already picked the jar with the gummy bears in it. Okay, so then I am going to take that and add some dimensionals. And I just ran out of dimensionals. Make sure you use up those edges. They're just as good as the dimensionals that are pre-cut and ready to roll. So we're gonna do this and this. We're gonna put this jar right here. Isn't that super cute? And it's like, whoa, what's happening? That looks dumb, right? Hang on, I got something else in store for you. We've got our scrap. I am going to take some Coastal Cabana ink here. And we're going to stamp this frame just like that. And then we've got sweets for you. And I wanted to do that in the Melon Mambo. We're going to stamp that right in the middle of this frame. Yay! There's a die for that. So we're gonna die cut it, and this is what we end up with. Okay, let me get these closed up because I think we're done stamping for a bit here. I even vacuumed my office today. I know, I was feeling quite the rock star. Oh, wait, we're not done stamping. There was one other little thing. I wanted to do this little sucker. Um, no, wrong not doing the sucker. That's what these were for, but I will show you the sucker stamped in a different card. Um, so just hang tight. You're going to need about 20 inches of this tool ribbon. And I'm just going to take it like this and like this, and I'm just going to guesstimate. There's a lot on a roll, so I'm not worried about it. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in my paper cutter here. Yeah, Denise says she loves that sentiment. I do too. Um, yeah, if anybody's having problems with the internet, it is your internet, not my live feed because I'm watching it on my computer and it's perfectly clear. Sometimes your streaming doesn't go fast enough. Okay, this little panel that we embossed, we're gonna bring this in and we're going to make this, we're going to cut this at a diagonal. So I'm going to come in about maybe an inch here. I know this is the scary part, right? We're going to do that. And then we're going to come here and we're going to cut this down about just like this. There's no rhyme or reason to this at all. I just want this to show up nicely. Okay. So you just snip it off like that. Then we're going to bring, did you guys, oh, here's my label. I was going to say, did you see my label in a place? Um, I'm going to grab some more dimensionals here. And I'm going to put actually three of them on here. I want this to be nice and secure. Peel the back off. And then we're going to take this ribbon. And we're going to put it right here. So... Now, you can secure this with mini glue dots. You could secure it with um, uh, tear and tape, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use a piece of tape tape. We'll see. Yeah, this will be held in place good with a piece of tape. 
here comes our sweets for you. And I want to make sure I get that on there straight. This comes over here. Oh, look at how off I am. Make sure you line up your ribbon so that it's even because this is kind of silly. But you'll do a better job, right? It's a lot of pressure being live. <laughs> you know I'm fine with it. Tie this in a little bow. I can get a hold of it. Going to get my nails done tomorrow. Nails and toes. It is um, toe season. That's what I call it. So I'm going to go get a Manny Petty tomorrow. That should be... Actually, everybody's like, oh, that's so nice. No, I really hate it. Like, I can't even tell you how much I hate getting my nails done. It's a necessary evil. I like my nails when they're done. I just don't like the time it takes. Look at how cute that is, you guys. What do you think? Okay, so let's take a look-see. I'm going to open it up. And this ribbon is nice and thin, so it won't cause bulk in your envelope. Got this. The gummy bears. Aren't they cute? I love the rainbow on here. That really popped for me. Look at that. Yay! Who wants to see another one I made using just different patterns in the designer series paper? Yeah? Okay. Let me get this cleaned up a little bit. I'll just set that on there like that. Hang on a second. I've got more. And get this out of the way. Okay. Here comes another one. Clean up my mess here. How about that? This is where I used the um, Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. Here's another one. So this one had the gummy bears in the big jar. This one is Highland Heather. This is Coastal Cabana. I used the tall jar here with the suckers in it. untie this. I use the rainbow pattern, so I just switched it. It's just opposite, right? The strip and the big piece, the strip and the big piece. And on this one, I just put happy birthday, and I used those alcohol markers to color in my sucker. Cute, right? Yeah! Okay, oops, hang on. So we've got this and this. Let's keep those down there like that. This is the card that started it all, and isn't this gorgeous? So this uses the designer series paper in the um, in colors, I believe. This is our six by six pack. You get polka dots. Oh, this is the butterfly gala. Then our six by six in colors. This is grapefruit grove. So we've got that and the butterfly gala. The reason why I didn't just remake this card is because this cupcake comes from a set of dies that is no longer available. But isn't this the cutest? This came to me at a swap in Minneapolis from Jay Shante. Made this card and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love your card. It is just absolutely adorable. So then I got out the um, candy set and decided to make these two. Yeah. Cool, right? Okay, let me grab, uh, where did that go? Right here, here comes our card that we just made. So we've got this one, these two. All of these will be featured on my blog as soon as I get it uploaded tonight. And I want you guys to know that that takes me a couple hours to do that. Um, I have to get photos done, edited, watermarked. Um, the video takes at last, sometimes an hour and a half to download, and then I have to upload it to YouTube. This sweetest thing, and also the jar of sweets are both retiring, as well as the back to basics and the quilt top embossing folders, along with the designer series paper. And um, this designer series paper is the Butterfly Gala. I think that's what it's called. And then the In Color 6x6 is also retiring. We've got so much stuff retiring here. Um, all of our stamp sets are available until the 24th of May. We guarantee they will be available because we can just make more, right? But once we run out of the papers and the framelits and embossing folders, those are while supplies last. So once we run out of them, they're just gone. Okay. If you guys asked me any questions and I missed them, can you please type them in right now? Because I am looking at questions right now. 
And if I can find my cursor, there it is. Okay, so I've got the questions, all your comments up. The Everything is Rosy is for May only. It is limited in time. Once it runs out, it's going to be gone. All of these products available for $80 with a value of over $120. You get a free card kit from me when you place an order for this Everything is Rosy medley, and you will love having this in your library. Um, you can go right here, a stampabove.com. In the right hand column, you'll see order online. That's my button. Click it, it'll take you right to my store. You can use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code because Stampin' Up! will give you your own Stampin' Rewards. You'll get $15 free if your order is $150 or more. You get 10% at that level. So, everything is rosy, free card kit, $80. All of these items are retiring also. I just want to make sure you get them, know about them, get them if you want them. And any questions? Don't forget to, where did my little slip go now? Hmm. Hang on a second. I'm not done yet. Uh, here it is. I know I'm going to lose these framelits if I don't be careful. Don't forget to do these things. Yeah, because you get entered to win stuff. Really cool stuff. Oh, I forgot to give away the prizes, didn't I? Oh, hang on. we got to give away prizes. I've got great prizes this week, you guys. I don't see. I set them behind me instead of where I usually set them. I'm so sorry. So, for commenting last week on my Facebook Live, I have Jody Peterson of Avon, Indiana. You're going to get a pack of Share What You Love Artists and Pearls. These are beautiful. And then for, um, hang on, for sharing my video last week, I have Sharon Jones of Sulphur, Louisiana. I know you're watching tonight. I've got a Happiness Blooms Memories and More card kit, a Happiness Blooms enamel dots, and this fabulous set of Happiness Blooms Memories and More cards and envelopes coming your way. And that's for sharing the um, video last week. Ooh, I said the word. I hope we don't get cast into Facebook hell. <laughs> And last but not least, for placing an order, I have the Incredible Like You. And this is going to Tundra Hudson of Amanda, Ohio. She placed an order in the last week. Your name was drawn to win this amazing stamp set. You are going to love this. These images are so pretty. I love the fonts. You're going to love it. And these quirky little lines are really fun, too. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't forget to give away the prizes, you guys. How could I do that? Yeah, well, changed a little, I changed a little, and then everything gets messed up, right? <laughs> okay, I just saw a question. What set, okay, the um, Make-A-Wish comes from the Life is Grand stamp set. This is in the Occasions Mini Catalog. Beautiful greeting set. You will not be disappointed that you have it, for sure. Oh, I wanted to let everybody know. So I had a little snafu with um, with my mailing selector ordering catalogs and the Stampin' Up! website disregarded all the catalogs to my customers from, uh, was it D through K, I believe. So anybody with the last name D through K, um, your catalogs didn't get ordered with my mailing selector, but Stampin' Up! is fantastic about this stuff. I'm going to flip you guys around now, so just hang tight. Um, Stampin' Up! is really good about things like that, and when I called them and told them that their website kind of messed me up, they actually offered to send out those catalogs. So I have about 60 catalogs or so that Stampin' Up! is sending out this last week. Uh, so if your name happens to fall in between the D's and the K's and you don't have your catalog yet, keep watching. It's coming. Stampin' Up! staff is actually addressing them and sending them out for me. So, yay. My company is amazing, right? Um, what was the other thing? Did I see any more questions here? Oh, my goodness. 
Um, I did see another question, so hang tight. I'm scanning back through these if you guys don't have to be off and running someplace. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Oh, thank you, Diane. Diane says you always do such a great job. Remember, if you're watching this later on YouTube, click on that share button. Click the button that um, will um, ring that bell. That way, I will get you'll get notifications on your phone when I happen to post a new video on YouTube too. Okay, Megan says Kelly, where do we send a card to you? Oh, I love cards. My address is 738 De Pere Street, Menasha, Wisconsin, 54952. And De Pere is spelled D-E-P-E-R-E. -E. I am off next weekend. I will not be live on Sunday. Steve and I are planning maybe a little road trip for the weekend. So not sure what we're doing, where we're going. But watch my Facebook. You know I'll like... I'll share it all with you guys because I always, I love, I love going along on vacation with people virtually. So I love it when people are posting their vacation pictures. It's like, oh, it looks like they're having so much fun and oh, look where they are now and so on and so forth. So, um, Claudia, if you're a discount shopper, you will get a catalog. If you did not place a pre-order, you will get a catalog in the mail. It'll, it'll be coming. Um, I saw somebody else talk about being a discount shopper too. And I want to tell you, Angie said, can you put it up for us? Can I put what up for you? My address? I don't know what you're asking me to put up. I think maybe my address. Can you repeat my address? Yes. 738 De Pere Street, Menasha, Wisconsin, 54952. Thank you guys so much. Menasha, M-E-N-A-S-H-A. What was the name of the embossing folders I used again? Okay, so this one is the quilt top, and it makes pretties like this. Okay, that's quilt top. And then this one is, I think, called Back to Basics. Where did my card go? Like, hang on. I lost my card. Here it is. And this makes the polka dot. You see that okay? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Thanks, Mary Olson. Um, Stampin' Roots. I do know who you are, but I can't think of your name. Oh, Anna. Yes, Anna. Um, your name doesn't show up because you are on Facebook as your business name. That's how you clicked on like from your business name. That's why it doesn't show up. Yeah. Hi, Jessica, Diane. You guys have a great week, too, and you're welcome, Megan, for the spelling. Um, Sunday is my son's 38th birthday. Oh, good for you. I will not be live Sunday. I'm taking the weekend off. We're going to take a little road trip. I'm excited about that to see where it leads us. Who knows? It's kind of fun to be able to do that, right? Jenny Miller is going to start working on her swaps. I have swap cards I have to do tonight. I have a blog hop tomorrow night at 8 p.m., so I will photograph all of these and get them loaded up. They'll go live on my blog tomorrow morning with all the dimensions. I'll also put the dimensions above the Facebook Live. As soon as I'm done here, then I um, post it to the Facebook page so you can re-watch it if you want. <laughs> if you miss something or you just think it enough of me, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, Debbie. I, I hate to not be on live Sunday night, but... Um, I think I'm up against a time schedule, too, where I'm not even going to have time to maybe make something and do a Facebook Live, not live. I would love to do that, but I'm just kind of drowning right now in uh, schedule deadlines. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you're not old enough. Oh, I don't have a 38-year-old son. And no, I'm not old enough to have a 38-year-old son. <laughs> My daughter's going to be 25. Yeah. Okay. Lisa wishes she could buy the shirt that I have on. So that was something I was talking to Steve about earlier today. So this is my favorite Stampin' Up! shirt, you guys. And you can see that it has a little Stampin' Up! logo right there. If there are any demonstrators out there who have this shirt and it happens to be a little snug or you'd like one that's a little bigger, I would love to trade with you. Because, yeah, this is I'm drowning in this shirt now and it's my favorite one. 
So if anybody has this shirt, oh, let me see what size it is. I don't even know. Can you read the size? What is it? Oh, shoot. Hang on. We're going to see what size. <laughs> I know, right? Kelly's changing her clothes right on Facebook Live. And you guys aren't surprised, really, are you? Hang on. I got to see what size this is. It is an extra large. This is an extra large. So if any demonstrators out there have a large that might be a little snug for you, <laughs> <laughs> and you would like to trade with me? I would love the smaller size. So, <laughs> oh, we'll be talking about this for a long time, right? <laughs> Kelly took her shirt and turned it around. I didn't take it all the way off. So I have a funny little story. I was in a tra training program where we did Facebook, uh, no, we did Zoom conference calls. So you're live just like this, but everybody's on the screen, right? Yeah, it's not on the demo page. This is from an event a while ago. Um, so we're on this Zoom conference call, and a lot of times people, if they have to step away from the conference call, they will click on uh, shut off the video so they can still hear it, but nobody can see them. I can, like, shut my video off and still be there, and nobody can see what I'm doing. Well, one day, one of the gals... She forgot that she didn't shut her video off and she came walking into her stamp room and she pulled her shirt off and put a different shirt on right in front of all of us. <laughs> it was hysterical. And the person who was running the conference call says, uh, hey, um, I'll just say Jody. Jody, we can see you. <laughs> she was just like, oh my Lord. She was so embarrassed. So. I didn't show you anything. <laughs> yeah, Steve would get a kick out of that, believe me. Yeah, he's um, Steve's been having some problems. I'm hoping his knee is better. He had 30 cc's of fluid drained off it the other day and got a cortisone shot because his knee just needs to be replaced. He was having back problems, but his back is better now. He, it's always something with him, and he's not like a hypochondriac, like coming up with all this stuff. It's just that his body is really... Um, been beat to hell. He was a steam fitter for 30 plus years and um, his body is just really deteriorating. And so I hope Steve's um, knee gets better before we head out on our little road trip because that's not going to be cool, is it? Thank you, Trisha. He will take all the prayers that he can get. Um, that cortisone shot should have kicked in. I don't understand why it didn't yet. I know it doesn't feel good to begin with, but it's it's Sunday now, and he got the shot on, I don't know, Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. Thank you so much. It really sucks to, you know, there's nothing you can do about what's happening to him. Um, he had that, what was that, PMR late last year. He's on prednisone for that. He's still on prednisone. They're starting to wean him down off of it now. But chances are that the PMR will come back. Meh. It's always something. Thank goodness I don't, I'm not having any problems. Er, knock on wood. Um, anyways, you guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Have a very safe and fun Memorial Day weekend. Um... Hug those kids. Spend some time with family and friends. I love that. Thank you, Claudia, very much. And um, he needs to ice it. Jackie, he does everything. He ices, he heats, he does the whole gamut. He's really good about following doctor's directions, except staying off of it. He can't really do that because I have a, a pool in a yard that needs to be taken. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ka <-ch> <laughs> Get out there and get my pool ready. No, I'm just kidding. We joke about that a lot. All right, and he needs to cook for me. <laughs> Have a good one. I'm going to let you guys go so I can get the rest of my work done tonight. And I will see you back here on June, what did I say? June 2nd, 7 p.m. Central Time. All right, bye-bye.